Hey, it's Alyssa here, Tachlis in Tel Aviv. The beginning of a new week, a new day dawning, a super moon. Um, wow, what a week. What a week of a lot of emotions. I can admit having super panic attacks. It's been very intense. It's really difficult when I'm here and things are happening in my country. Um, friends and family, it really affects me. It's hard to see New York under so many protests. Um, I actually think the protests, it's an amazing um, sense of freedom of speech and freedom to be, to have the right to do something like that. Um, I have to say that I've seen the flip side and that um, I saw some really bad behavior once you went deep into some of those protesters. Maybe the stuff happened later at night. Um, and they brought the police in, in LA, I'm pretty sure New York. Um, those were difficult things to see because, again, we are back on the topic of good and bad. And I feel, as I stated in the last video, that things are getting really spiritual for me. Um, really about looking inside myself, finding good and bad within myself. I mean, questioning, questioning when good things are coming out of my mouth or bad things are coming out of my mouth. Um, listening to things that aren't good or bad around me. So I'm obsessed with watching all the news. I can't help myself. I, I really don't think I'm alone in this lately either. Um, what's so interesting is that we nowadays, you know, you opened up the encyclopedia a long time ago. There was one answer. Now you read something like eat the avocado pit and then you can research shall I eat the avocado pit. And I do this with just like everything across the board because no matter what I see that's fascinating, I always have to debunk it. Um, so that went with the riots that there were the paid rioters and then there were some really bad elements in those riots that just were anarchists, I believe, and took advantage of the situation. I think they're just haters. Um, I saw something, I forgot what it's called, but it's something on the universities. Um, it's students for, Student Union of Palestine or something like that, and they were waving um, the flag of Palestine, I don't know, and um, screaming, Intifada, Revolution, Obama, Trump, Obama, something like this. You know, at first, you know, I hear Intifada, and um, it's not a good feeling. Intifada to me means war. It means violence. It means an, a violent uprising. Um, and then when they weren't relating it to anything in Israel, they were relating it to, to, to the state at the moment, to... Trump and Obama. So I don't understand why it's legal for a bunch of um, anarchists or pro whatever they were to be screaming and yelling um, to start a revolution, to start a violent uprising. Bad. That's, that's just bad. And now I'm going to go to something that really bothered me the other day because why not? Because I really live in in an interesting situation that no one truly would actually believe. But I am i don't know if I really want to go into it at this in this video, but I do want to say something in regards to freedom of speech. And what I've seen is a lot of um, non-Americans, you know, making their comments, whether it's about the election or whatever. Um, interesting enough, non-Jewish non um, inhabitants of Israel um, that are, that non-Jews that are living in Israel, throwing out pretty big comments about America and the situation. I get it. I now fully understand that these people feel very threatened if something happens to America. Um, but I'm still really hung up on this racist situation because um, blacks, Hispanics, and we can go anti-Semitic because they're doing supremists and uh, the LGB community. Um, Number one, I, I, I've now seen it a bunch of times. You know, Trump is is fine. He has already stated that the Supreme Court has 
said it's okay for same-sex marriages. He's not doing anything about it. He might not agree with it, but he's not doing anything about it. Pro-choice, he wants to take it at the federal level for the states, and if you can't get it in your state, go to a different state. Mm, I don't know what the hell he has to do in my in my private business. What What is that? That's crazy. I still want to research the history of abortion and legality of abortion. I am really fascinated by this. Like, when did all this start? Like, who would want to make a law about it? Um, and um, this, still this, I don't know where the, the anti-black is because this um, problem was happening during all the, the police violence. So I'm a little thrown like that. The only thing I heard that really was horrific was the Mexican comment, which like Trump really just really needs a super apology for that one. Um, and I, listen, I have no, no, I have absolutely no problem with his anti-extreme Muslim situation. Like, they have now not. They have now negated um, his comment in regards to not allowing any Muslim to immigrate into America. Um, I I wanted to make this comment in regards to freedom of speech and the right to do whatever you want. I mean, free world America, free world Israel. Um, but the other day I saw something that really upset me, and that was. And I'm not going to get into specifics of who the woman was. I woman. <laughs> She posted something from Farrakhan in regards to the rioting, in the regards to, um, I guess, against this concept of white power, or I wasn't too sure about it. In this clip, it was something about Nigeria and telling the news reporter that, like, he should mind his own business because what they're doing in Nigeria is a lot less worse than what we've done in America. Farrakhan. I can put him up with some of the most vile dictators, the most vile haters. He's a complete anti-Semite. There are brilliant, brilliant African-American, black, whatever word you want to use, thinkers, doers, scholars. Why Farrakhan? Farrakhan is one of... Oof, I remember about learning um, about him. I, I have no idea, but it, but it really... His, his, everything about him scares me. And there it was in my feed. And the thing is that most Israelis would have no idea what it was, but, and she's living in Israel, not Israeli, married to an Israeli. Um, and, you know, I've, I've been a little afraid here. I know this sounds shocking. You would think that a Jew living in Israel has the freedom to say whatever. Not true. 101 Israel. So living in Tel Aviv is extremely, extremely, extremely liberal. So most everybody here will talk about Hillary, um, which that that's not in the in the story at the moment. Um, so it's really interesting because um, when you talk about hate, I mean, anti anti Semitic um, crime has been happening for for years. And there was a heightened one with all the terrorist attacks in Paris, in Belgium, and horrible things. And, you know, the Jews cried out a bit about it. No big deal. Um, but I didn't see any Jews put up any posts that were dictators or bad people that hurt them. I... I'm not being clear about it. It's just that Farrakhan video was just ridiculous. Um, I found one to counteract it, which was him saying that Jews were dogs. So I don't want to say his name anymore because he's just he's just a nightmare. Um, that said, I really am beginning to think about what it's like to be a minority, what it's like to be living in a country as a foreigner, what it's like to be treated like a second-class citizen, what it's like to be negated, like who you are and your identity negated. Um, I'm not going to say I feel like a Mexican who's being thrown out because I'm, I'm, I'm not an illegal citizen. So if they're talking about illegals, so that's a different story. But if you're legal, like you can do whatever you want. 
Illegal immigration is illegal immigration. No matter what country you do it in, every country needs some sort of laws about immigration. That would be crazy to have open borders. Do Does anyone like remember 9-11? So I'm going to go to one more idea, and that is 9-11. Um, the biggest nightmare of our lives. As a New Yorker, wow. I mean, just, I have my own personal story. I think most of us do. But after 9-11, and now living here in Israel and understanding what a terrorist attack is, you, you need to vet at some level. And this is what they are going to do. They are not going to just throw people out for no good reason. Believe me, if you are a good American and you come from any background, I really, really highly doubt there's going to be a problem. And if you do, there's going to be a big deal about it. But if you are bad, again, we're back to good and bad. If you have anything bad or any crime crime past, like, of course you're going to be questioned. Why, why, do, why do you need to have criminals in your country? They don't need to be there, pretty much. Open borders and vetting. Now, I live in a country that's full of coexistence. I coexist. I coexist with people that want to coexist with me, right? But people that hate me, it's not easy to coexist with them. And so in Israel, they have checkpoints and fences and borders and security. They have massive defense force, a strong one. They have to. They got a lot of enemies and a lot of haters, but that doesn't like hom homogenize the society. You must understand living in Tel Aviv and all over Israel is there is coexistence. Being Israeli no longer means you're a Jew. Being Israeli means you can be many, many things and they are. And, um, this was eye opening for me. Um, and it's fascinating and I'm going to eventually go into it slowly, but to understand that life as a foreigner is a very, very difficult thing. And being a Jew in Israel doesn't matter. You must understand it does not matter. That's what's weird. We just all have to have a little faith. I keep on saying it that, you know, if we are fighting one another, we are weakening ourselves and we are allowing the supremacists to rise. We're allowing all the, 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 the crap of the crap to float to the top. And what we need to do as educated, open-minded, open-hearted, loving individuals, we need to come together. We need to agree to disagree and we need to find common grounds. We need to understand what we do agree on. Peace out. Good luck.